Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. In this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, AWS Security Specialty Certification. Before I start talking about the certification, let's first uh, talk about why we need to learn uh, security and cloud. The main reason why security is very important in cloud is that to protect the data. So let's just think about it. Whenever an organization moves or migrate the data to cloud, the main concern from their end is that whether their data is secure, whether is, uh, if there is any data breach or anything goes wrong in the cloud, how can the, they protect? Again, there is also a lot of compliances like ISO, then uh, PCI DSS, then uh, GDPR. A lot of compliances also need to be met. So for that reason, security is very important. And if you know cloud security, you are all good. Uh, you will get a tons of uh, job offers in your career if you are well familiar with security. And whenever we're talking about cloud, AWS is the leader of cloud computing. So if you know cloud uh, security and you are certified as a cloud security specialty, your career will just uh, go up and up. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through the security certification process and also what resources you need to cover to get certified. If you follow my roadmap, I guarantee that within two months, you will have your AWS security specialist certification. So before I start the video, I just wanna talk about myself. Well, uh, I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing. I worked on AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud platforms. Beside that, I also have uh, multiple certification. Uh, you can see my certification in the background. So this channel is all about cloud and also related to uh, security. So if you're interested in this field, uh, this channel is definitely for you. So without further delay, let's get this started. So at the very beginning of this video, I'm gonna go through the official AWS website where they have uh, given an overview of AWS certified security specialty certification. So uh, let's uh, look into the overview first. So the category is a specialty. So there are a few categories of AWS certification. It start with uh, basic, that is uh, uh, cloud practitioner. Then it comes uh, the, it, the associate certification, then uh, the AWS uh, uh, professional certification, and also there's one more uh, category that is called a specialty. So this falls under the specialty category. The exam duration is 170 minutes. That means we can tell near around uh, uh, three hours. And the exam format is 65 questions, each multiple choice uh, or multiple response. So most of the questions are, are uh, multiple choice basis. Uh, but the questions are very long. I can still uh, recall my exam for the security certification. Oh my goodness, the exam, the questions were all scenario based and uh, most of the questions were uh, paragraph and uh, the answers were all uh, uh, looked same to me. So I really had to uh, go through the questions and the options very well because uh, uh, if you don't understand the question, you can't answer it correctly. So you need to know the AWS console, you need to know how to integrate multiple AWS services, cloud, ser uh, cloud security services together, and then you can have your answer. Before I hit the submit button, I didn't know that I'm gonna pass or fall. I just uh, followed my instinct and uh, whatever I learned, I just uh, tried to implement it in my exam hall and uh, luckily it worked out for me. So uh, the cost, the cost is 300 USD, which is, uh, I think as a security certification, it's not that expensive. If you compare this with the CCSP, CISSP certification, then it's not that expensive at all because those certifications are crazy expensive. I have already cleared the CISSP and CISSP certification, but trust me, this knowledge that I get from this certification, this uh, a security special certification, it helped me to uh, be confident enough to go for the CISSP and CCSP certifications. The test, uh, we do have two options in here. The first option is uh, Pearson View Test Center and the other option is Online Proctor Exam. So if you ask me which one I prefer, uh, well, uh, definitely I'll go with the Online Proctor Exam because uh, you know your environment very well in that case. So uh, you can uh, answer your uh, questions in a very well-known uh, environment. So it will help for passing the exam. The language offered English, French, so you can see uh, we do have a few options in here. So, and uh, one more trick that I'm gonna talk about. So, if English is not your a primary language, it's a secondary language, you can request uh, 30 more minutes for your exam. Yes, you heard it right, so it's a bonus. So that means this time gonna increase uh, from 170 to 200 minutes. 
and it's gonna help you to go through the question it's it's not like you uh, that you your proficiency level is not up to the mark it's important if you are english a second language please use that uh, feature because uh, the questions are very very long and it helped even me i also took the 30 minutes and uh, I took the whole 200 minutes to answer the questions and uh, uh, I was uh, doing great because uh, for uh, some questions that are longer in size, we need to go through it at least two or three times. All right, so after that, uh, uh, here you can see once you get certified, you will get a logo, a very a nice link logo like this in uh, your uh, LinkedIn profile, which will definitely help you to attract more and more good jobs for you. So to prepare, so here are some preparation tips are given in here. So, and also this is a very crucial question that is who should take this exam, right? So if we look into it, that AWS certified security specialty intended for the experienced individual who have five years of IT security experience in designing and implementing security solution and two years of AWS hands-on experience. That's very true because uh, this is not a beginning cert a beginner level certification nor a associate level certification. It's more of a like advanced level certification. So if you are starting with AWS journey, first go for the associate certification, then go for professional, and then you can uh, look for this uh, security certifications. Because uh, uh, the knowledge that you will uh, gain from throughout the whole uh, certification process, you can implement all under this uh, security certification. So that's my suggestion for you. So if we click this link, prepare for the exam, it will show us these three options. Uh, so first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna review the exam guide. So this is the first document you have to definitely go through for the certification. So what is this one? The, here you will get some introduction, then the target candidate description, the recommended AWS knowledge, what kind of knowledge you need for to pass the certification, and the exam content. So uh, here you can see that there are two types of questions on the exam. One is multiple choice, and one is multiple response. And uh, here uh, you can see the complete breakdown of uh, domain. So the domain one is the threat detection and incident response, 14%. Security logging and monitoring is 18%. Domain three is uh, infrastructure security, 20%. Domain four is identity and access management, 16%. And data protection is 18%, and the last one, domain six, is management and security governance, which is 14%. That's in total 100%. So the cool part about here, for every single domain, uh, here is a complete breakdown. So you you can go through it. So my solution to you is that at the very beginning of your uh, certification process, first uh, download this document and go through it uh, very carefully. So it will give you an idea what exactly you need to uh, learn for the certification. So I did the same for my uh, security special certification so once you uh, go through all of it here you can see one more cool feature that is uh, you can see some service list so the services that are mentioned in here you must have to know it in depth because uh, in exam you're gonna get questions from the services and also it's a, also a good part that's out of scope of AWS services and features so you can uh, ignore these specific uh, services from AWS console that's good so once you review it now uh, here is a, one section that is called AWS certified security practice question set this one so here you will get questions and here are two official question sets. So uh, the good question could be, a good question could be, when should you go through this question set? And uh, uh, if you ask for my suggestion, I would highly suggest you to go through this question at the very last of your preparation. Because I do have my uh, reasons. First, uh, once you are well prepared for the exam, you feel like, yes, I'm confident enough to sit for the exam. Now is the time to test your knowledge. So how are you gonna test your knowledge? Then you can come right here, you can download these questions and you can try to solve it. If you can answer the question, so the ratio should be something like 80%. So if you can answer 80% of these questions correctly, that means you are more than ready for the exam because these questions, 
uh, complete uh, it's a kind of like a total reflection of the uh, exam questions it's a pretty much a similar so if you can answer this uh, questions correctly that means you are ready for your exam so that's uh, my tips for you so once you feel ready for the exam then just come here and uh, test your knowledge so after having a good overview of the exam the next question could be what materials you need to cover for the exam because it's very crucial if we uh, have a complete roadmap a complete list of material that it can cover for certification which will uh, give us an uh, guarantee that uh, we're going to pass the exam it's an amazing feeling so then you just have to go through it you have to be sure you are going through it very carefully and boom you will get your certification so in this part of this video what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, share few of my uh, resources that i feel like if you cover these uh, resources i also covered those uh, specific resources so if you uh, cover these resources i guarantee that you're gonna pass your aws security specialty certification so let's uh and dive in the first material i want you to cover is uh, these videos from my youtube channel so currently i do have uh, 38 videos and i'm planning to upload more and more videos related to cloud specifically aws for now uh, so uh, here if you notice that uh, i have created uh, short videos like 15 minutes of videos for every important aws services so uh, these videos look uh, small in size but trust me if you covered these videos for your exam you are almost 60 percent ready for your exam so these videos are short but uh, filled with uh, very valuable information so for that reason i really suggest you to go through this uh, all of these videos and once you finish these videos then you will know that you have learned learned a lot about aw services then uh, uh, you can move to the second resources that i'm gonna talk about the second material that I want you to cover for the certification is uh, this book named as AWS Certified Security Study Guide Specialty. You can get it from uh, Amazon. Uh, current price is uh, $59.66 uh, for paperback and for Kindle edition is uh, $46.99. Uh, a question could be whether it's really important to uh, go through the book uh, and the answer is a definite yes. Because uh, when you go through this book, you will learn all the AWS security services, uh, uh, the concepts like how what, uh, you, how we can integrate multiple AWS uh, security services together. And the good part is about this book is that after each and every chapter, you will get few uh, review questions. So uh, you can test your knowledge. So after finish a chapter, you can uh, test yourself that whether you understood all the concepts from the chapter so uh this book is a must so this book will help you to build the foundation and uh, first uh, my videos and this book then uh, you are almost uh, 70 to 75 percent ready for your exam guys the third resource that i want you to cover for this uh, certification aws secret certification is this course named as aws security fundamental so the good part about this is that aws is providing a free course for us guys so uh this is uh, great so uh, i will also add this link under my description from there you can get this link once you finish these two hours of training i can guarantee that you will learn more about aws uh, security because you have to uh, really go through some hands-on experience for this uh, uh, course so that's great so after completing this uh, two hours of course uh, now you're almost uh, 75 to 80 percent ready for your exam the fourth material that I want you to cover for the certification is this uh, AWS webinar page. So we need to do some filtration in here. For training option, uh, let's choose uh, virtual and on demand. And uh, the category need to be choose uh, as uh, uh, security. So once we add these uh, filters, now we get uh, just uh, six uh, webinars. And from six webinars, some are very uh, cool webinars. Uh, for an example, like uh, securing your AWS cloud, AWS discovery, securing your AWS cloud. So these are all related to cloud. So if you go through these uh, webinars, uh, I can guarantee that you will learn a ton related to AWS security, like how AWS is uh, making sure that uh, the infrastructure that uh, the other companies are building on top of AWS, uh, how uh, they are securing the infrastructure, what are the backbones of AWS security. So this is a very cool stuff to know. The fifth and final thing that you need to cover for this AWS uh, security special certification is AWS console. So let me be very clear about it. If you don't go through all the AWS security services from AWS console, 
you won't pass the exam that's uh, pretty certain so if you want to pass a certification you really need to know each and every security services that aws offers you need to know how to integrate those services you need to know how to configure those services you need to know using those using those services how to uh, secure a web application how to secure a uh, front end of a website how to secure a back end of a website so you really need to work on these guys so my suggestion to you is that uh, every day spend at least one to two hours in aws console try to play with this just think it's more of like a game you are exploring you're learning so just uh, enjoy the whole process so if your mindset is like that not only going to pass the certification in the uh, journey you will learn a ton and you will become a very 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 good cloud security engineer so please do that and uh, you will thank yourself later. So that's uh, the whole uh, roadmap that uh, I want to talk about for this secret certification. And I guarantee that if you follow these five resources that I mentioned uh, in this video, you're gonna pass the certification. And the next uh, question could be uh, how much time we need to spend how many days we need to spend to uh, get people a certification on ideally to cover this uh, five resources i believe uh, two months is good enough if you spend at least like uh, two to three hours every day uh, then uh, in uh, two months you will be ready for the certification and once you are ready with your preparation phase then uh, remember to go back to the aws uh, web official website and test your knowledge by solving the sample questions and if you see that if you are answering those questions correctly more than 80 percent congratulations you're ready for the certification uh, thank you so much guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me if you found this video helpful please uh, like and subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, if you have any questions related to certification, let me know under this comment section. That's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day, guys.